Yes. So welcome to my fifth video on real analysis in the playlist of UPSC Max Optional. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, so please subscribe it. And uh, in the description, I have provided the link for Telegram and Instagram channel. So in this video, I'm going to prove you are in the process of solving the 2018 question paper. So in that video, in this we have solved one problem on 2018 question paper. Now I'm going to solve the 1B problem. Which is we need to prove the inequality that the value of this integral x by sin x from pi by 6 to pi by 2 varies from the range is pi square by 9 is to 2 pi square by 9. So we will prove this problem now. This is the problem which we discussed in the last video. Yes. So I already written. I already took a video, but the video got corrupted. So I'm I'm just I just explain the notes. So we need to prove this condition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider only x by sin n. So as of now, forget x as of now. So we need to show the value of the function in the in the interval in the area of this function in the interval pi by six to pi by two ranges ranges in between them right so I'm going to consider only this function which is 1 by sin x now I'm, I'm going to find the value of 1 by sin x at x is equal to pi by 6 and at x is equal to pi by 2 right so if I do that if I do that I'll have if I do that So if I do that, I'll have suppose 1 by sin x at x is equal to pi by 6. So we have in place of x, I substitute pi by 6. So I have 1 by sin pi by 6. So sin pi by 6 is sin 30, right? So pi is 180, 180 by 6 is 30. And the value of sin 30 is 1 by 2. So this will be 2. And if I substitute x is equal to pi by 2, which is the upper limit, I'll get 1 by sin pi by 2, which is 1. So we can see that 1 by sin x ranges from 2 to 1, right? So I can write so 1 by sin x 1 by sin x 1 by sin x is ranges 1 by sin x is in between 1 and 2 1 and 2 but we need to find the range for x by sin x so what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply x to all the terms this will be x x into 1 is x and this will be x by sin x and this will be 2x so as of now we have proved that the value of x by sin x is in between the range x and 2x but what we need to show is the area if we, the, if we integrate from pi by 6 to pi by 12 it has to vary from pi square by 9 to 2 pi square by 9 as of now we have shown that x by sin x is in between 1, uh, x and 2x right so what i want to do is i'm going to take this function as f of x I am going to take this function as f1 of x and I am going to take this function as f2 of x, right? So f of x, f1 of x and f2 of x. So I will take this function as f of x, f1 of x and f2 of x. So in case 1, I am going to compare f and f1 and in the case 2, I am going to compare f and f2, right? So in case 1, I am going to compare f and f1 and in the case 2, I am going to compare f and f2. So case 1, f and f1 both are bounded, continuous and integrable functions on in this interval, right? Because this is a polynomial function, therefore it is continuous function and therefore and, and it is also bounded because it, it is in between pi by 6 to pi by 2 and it is integrable on in this interval. Now, I am going to check whether this f is greater than f1 or f is less than f1, right? I am going to check whether f is less than f1 or f is greater than f1. So for that, I am going to take an arbitrary value in between this interval and I am going to find the value of f1 and f1 at this point. So I take I take x is equal to pi by 6 which is in this interval. So at x is equal to pi by 6, I am going to find the value of f1 and f1. So value of f is x by sin x, so pi by 6 by sin pi by 6. So I will get pi by 3. Right? 
So I'll get I and uh, the value of f1 of x. F1 of x is x. So therefore f1 of pi by 6 is pi by 6. So I obtain f1 as pi by 3 and f2 as pi by 6. So you see that the value of f1 is larger than value of f2. So therefore we obtain that f of x is strictly greater than f1 of x. Right? So first we found the value of x by sin x and then we have taken f, f1, f2. In case 1 I am comparing f1, f1 and uh, I'm, I, I have found that f is strictly greater than f1. Right? So Yes. So case so f one f one. So what we have found is this f is strictly greater than f one of x. So in place of f of x, integral pi by six to pi by two f of x dx. I can write this is greater than. I can use greater than symbol. If I replace f of x to be f1 of x, right? So f1 of x is x. So this will be x dx. And then it is very easy to follow for you. So I'm just integrating x dx, which is x square by 2. And the upper limit is pi by 2. And the lower limit is pi by 6. I'm just taking 2 outside. And then I'm uh, uh, substituting the value of upper limit minus lower limit. So I'll get pi square by 9. So what we obtain is that this f of x dx is greater than or greater than pi square by 9 or I can write this as pi square by 9 is less than integral pi by 6 to pi by 2 f of x dx. Right? So in case 1 I have considered I have compared f and f1 and I obtain this result. So if you look at the question carefully that we have proved this part. Right? We have proved this part. Now I'm going to consider compare f and f2. I'm going to come I'm going to get this part, right? So I'm going to compare f and f2. So f is x by sin x and f2 is 2x, right? So I'm going I want to find whether f is less than f2 or f is greater than f2. So again you take any arbitrary point in the interval pi by 2 to pi by 6. So you see that here f of x is less than f2 of x. Right, it can also be equal. If x is equal to pi by 6, then we see that it is less than, it is equal to, both are equal. But if you take, if you take another point in this interval, the value of f of x will be less than f2 of x, right? So this integral, integral f of x dx will become less than or equal to f2 of x. So in case 1, I have greater than or equal to f1. Here I have less than or equal to f2. So I am just replacing f2 to be 2x. So if I take 2 outside, this will be integral pi by 6 to pi by 2 x dx. So this is the value which you calculated in the x1, so which you calculated in the case 1, so which is pi square by 9, right? So this will be 2 times pi square by 9, which is 2 pi square by 9. So therefore, integral pi by 6 to pi by 2 f of x dx is less than 2 pi square by 9. So therefore, we obtained the second inequality. So from case 1 and case 2, when we combine these two, we will get this inequality, right? So very easy problem. First I have compared 1 by sin x and then I have multiplied x by sin x and I have taken this as f, this as f1 and this as f2. I compared f and f1 and I found that f of x is greater than f1 of x. So I am just replaced f of x to be f1 of x and I found the integral value and I compared f and f2 and I found that f of x is less than f2 of x. So I'm just integrating that. So this will become, we will obtain this inequality. So if I can, if I combine case one and case two, we will get the, we will get this. The, we will prove this inequality, right? So we have solved the, the first problem. So we have solved two problems on 2018 question paper. So the next video we will we will solve some one important important question or interesting question is that uh, prove that 